What's up, guys? Welcome back. This is Bamboo. You're watching Bamboo Gaming. Uh, I'm just going to show you a couple deck lists on the new Sandman, uh, especially because of his new buff of 5 mana, 5 power. There are a couple decks I think that might be strong for anyone to use. Uh, as you see here, it's an Ultron Sandman, Ultron Sandman deck, which runs uh, Sandman and Ultron, and that complements them is Blue Marvel because our Patriot Mystique as the buffs. We also got Brood, Mr. Negative, Mr. Sinister, Shocker, Misty Knight, Squirrel Girl, and Wasp to get powered up by either Patriot or the other two buffs. I think you also uh, having the option of going a Blue Marvel or Sandman on turn 5 is really powerful, depending on what deck you're going to be facing against, uh, and then ending it off with Ultron uh, at the end. So this is one deck list. Pretty simple. And then we got another one. We got an Electro Sandman deck. This is what I've been using to get up to, I guess, 74 is my highest right now. So this is it. It runs a Sunspot, Psylocke, Daredevil, Electro, Wave, Jubilee, Shang-Chi, Sandman, Vision, Spider-Woman, Doctor Doom, and Odin. So I was taking advantage of a lot of the cards that got, that got buffed like Spider-Woman and Sandman. The many ways to approach this deck um, is basically going, say, turn 2 Daredevil, turn 3 Electro, turn 4 Sandman, turn 5 Doctor Doom, and then ending it off with Odin at the end to get more, spread more power. Also, you could also do Spider-Woman, depending on like what deck they're using. Uh, if it's Thanos, uh, Vision, if you expect... A, an arrow on turn five especially you do wave sometimes like they expect a wave and they're gonna go galactus they'll they'll think that you'll be doing galactus so i like dropping vision so they'll arrow into my vision and they just kind of wasted the arrow so it's kind of cool uh shang -Chi just because there's a lot of sherry still running rampant so i think shang -Chi is very powerful still and also, I added Psylocke in the Jubilee thing just because sometimes you don't get any of the cards. You don't get Electro, you don't get Wave. So there's Psylocke 2 for turn 3, or for turn 2, you can go Psylocke and then Jubilee, hopefully hitting one of the five cards at the bottom from Sam into Odin. And yeah, that's kind of like, I want to say, a perfect package deal for an Electro Sandman deck. Especially, you'll be seeing a lot of these cards similar. Like, there's a lot of different ways you can mix up the cards. Like I said, Vision, you can change into Captain Marvel, uh, Spider-Woman to Arrow. Um, you don't need to run Psylocke and Jubilee, but I think Psylocke is definitely necessary. Wave is still a little uh, tricky because um, other than the trick play of using Vision instead of anybody else, uh, Wave also gives the benefit on the other opponent to play any of their 6 drops or 5 drops early on because I do like playing Wave on turn 3. There's like no other time. If I don't if I can't play Wave on turn 3, I just don't even try. I kind of just go straight to Jubilee. Or I'll play into Psylocke turn 3 instead to not give that benefit to the opponent. Or just give Sunspot more energy. But this is kind of like the two decks I suggest people run uh, to get the hang of Sandman. And also Sandman is pretty fun. Uh, especially you, you control the pace of the game. And I, that's what I like about Sandman. I think he's really strong now. And I think everyone everyone should just pick him up. Uh, I'm not going to run any gameplay, uh, but that's just kind of how I've been perceiving Sandman and uh, his new buffs. And also, I think people should try out the new Spider-Woman. I think she's really good, too. So again, guys, thanks for watching the video. Till next time, peace.